I've got a nine-year-old daughter, she'll be 10 in June. Um, so just the basic day-to-day, -day, I wasn't able to take her to school in the mornings. So it's always been my wife who's had to do that. Um, you know, I couldn't even get in on the road until kind of 10, 11 o'clock. You know, so I had to kind of really adapt to the day-to-day -day life. Um, there were days where you know, I hadn't been able to get out of bed, um, which you know, when you've got children, that's not a great thing, right? And uh, you, know, you want to be able to do stuff with them. I, again, I've been fortunate because it hasn't affected my life too much up until the last kind of year or so. So over the, you know, over the course of me having PSC, uh, it's only really been the last kind of 18 months that have been you know, quite severe. Um, but if I focused on just the last 18 months, you know, I've been in hospital four or five times with, if, if I count the transplant, then five times, um, you know, with quite severe flare-ups. And of course then, you know, particularly my daughter, so my son's only 20 months, so he's only been a baby and you know, he won't remember any of this. Um, but particularly with my daughter, you know, she's seen it, you know, as it is. You know, she's been in hospital when I've been ill. Um, we haven't tried to hide it from her. We've, you know, we've explained the situation to her. Um, but even that in itself is quite a difficult process to deal with and, you know, particularly at her age, it's <laughs> extremely difficult to process, um, you know, and, and you know, it can't be nice for, you know, for her to have seen me when I've been, you know, at my worst. Um, but I think it hasn't, it hasn't done her any damage, it hasn't affected us, you know, kind of long term. You know, we've tried to just maintain that, you know, we've been open, really transparent with her as to, you know, whether I'm well or whether I'm not well, and if I'm not well, what has to happen? And it was very much like, you know, I've got to go into hospital again, I'll be in for a couple of weeks, you know, I'll, I'll be better when I come out. And it just became part of the, you know, the process. Um, with the transplant, um, we, we, you know, kind of explained it as a positive, um, you know, and it was going to be, you know, I've had this bad liver for a number of years and now I'm going to get a new one and it's going to make me better. Um, we didn't go into the detail of and everything. It wasn't until a few weeks after that we showed a you know, the, the kind of wound and the scar and everything. I waited until the staples were out and it all looked a little bit, <laughs> a little bit better before we showed it to her. Um, but yeah, um, she understands it and uh, you know, it's been fine. But I think certainly the recovery period after the transplant, you know, I, I couldn't pick Jude up, he's my son, you know, I, I, I literally couldn't do anything. So that was, you know, quite a difficult time as well because he'd come up to me um, and I, I, I was kind of like backing off because I couldn't have him kind of grabbing me or, you know, anything like that so yeah it was it was difficult but again you manage it and you've just got to get through it